Hey, what's going on everyone? You're surely back with the live stream. I thought t tonight would be a good night for me to kind of grind out some more games just because um, the competitive nights is coming in tomorrow, I believe. I, 39... I think that's 39... wait... One day 39 minutes. Okay, there we go. I was trying to figure out like what's the time because it's a little bit weird. Like the one day is up here and then the actual time is right there. But um... Yeah, so t tomorrow night is going to be the start of, of the competitive night, so I thought I'd get some games in. Good opportunity to do like a, a evening live stream because I do realize I've been doing a lot more afternoon live streams and around this time, as you guys see right now, we're able to find games much faster. And I think there's a lot more you guys kind of like around, kind of off work or off school or whatnot, so I think I'm going to try to get a better habit of live streaming later in the day rather than the middle, for sure. Yeah, especially, um, what do you call? I think I'm gonna, as much as I love to like live stream on Fridays, I'm thinking I'm using that day dedicated to kind of my personal time, also hang out with my family. So it's, that leaves the other kind of weekday nights to kind of do stuff. So Thursday nights seem to be competitive nights, so that might be a night I might not live stream because I won't be live streaming competitive nights. Because it's sort of like, it's sort of, I don't want to like, the team I'm playing with get like stream the snipe, that's always that risk um, I won the quads, I kind of want to just record on my own and just kind of go from there. Hey, what's up Nerve? Welcome, welcome. Oh, you're getting the arrow right now on Samir? I, I don't think I got that arrow, AP400. I don't think I've seen that personally myself. What was I'm playing to take for competitive? I'm playing to do off lane. That's kind of like what my, what I do for my team. So, it's kind of like the team I've been doing for scrims and for some tournaments here and there. So I'm kind of like the off laner for my team. So we're gonna kind of run it together and compare the nights as well. Cause I'm actually pretty happy with doing support. Support has been game for me a lot better kind of role. I've been actually really enjoying it a whole lot. Right now, so it's just in my team. I'm the offlane main, but maybe in a different friend group, I'll I'll be like a support kind of thing. There's one of those two wasn't comfortable with. Are you this sound account support? Yeah, that was definitely a lot of fun when I was doing the hundred percent. I figure like I get to the I got to the point where I kind of feel like I done a little bit of everyone, so I kind of want to do the occasional um off picks here and there and speaking of which I might actually do off pick right here sort of ish so we're gonna do house of support I've been because I've been meaning to do house of support for a bit because how is probably the most viable maze on um, support funny enough so Chaos is the fun maze support you can do but I think how is it actually more viable than her she, he's He's kind of like the most viable mage support because his E, his bomb, is like really, really strong tool. And he just has the tool to be a really good um, poker and just being able to have a lot of pressure in lane. Because we, we can actually get away with doing how he support in, the, in our team comp. Because especially um, if I do like a decker or like a nether tank um, support, we wouldn't have, I don't think we have necessarily like the good poke damage we need. Kind of thing. We have really good all lens, but not great for game picks or whatnot. So I think doing house of support right here is actually a decent call, not gonna lie. So we're gonna be going custom quest and then take a quick look. Oh J5, hello my good sir. So we're gonna be doing pretty much combustion waste leggings. Because on counter support, I did wait for him, but that's because she really needs that mana to do so. Because when you do counter support, you need the Q on me E and you just lose your abilities on cycle to be able to get good poke can. Whereas with Howitzer, you don't necessarily have to like poke to win. You don't necessarily have to keep poking. You have a really solid poke with just one Q. And but your big thing you're looking for is you're looking for a really good landmine to knock people into your wave and take a really good trade. So we're gonna actually start with E. That's just we're gonna start with E first because I don't think we necessarily need to go for poking level one. I think the what we want to go for is a um, really good like displacement of the ADC into us. I guess it's Mary who likes to be kind of poke heavy too. I'll be able to really be able to displace them a whole lot because yeah, the big thing about houses you gotta worry about um, CC, but. 
but against like this matchup, we don't have to worry about CC at all. We can just kind of go ham a little bit if we play it this way. Oh, I didn't mean to take that. XP. Okay, so I'm, I I messed up my E a little bit, but I forced her to walk in a bit of a weird um, spot. Wait, she dropped down right here. Oh, so I'm trying to help. This is. I never see um people dropping. What the heck? Okay, bye. That's so disrespectful. He blinked after me just to do that. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm taking really early back because they got pretty strong cards. Um, it's gonna be hard for me and the Murdoch to both kind of stay play up, especially if we have a fame out looking in the blue side jungle. So I'm gonna take it really early back. You just need to play a little safe until I get back to lane, and I have the health resources to go back through. Because I can also um, take a peek through this blue side jungle and see what the fame out is up to. Oh, wait, so he didn't even take the blue at all. Interesting. Hey, what's up, Dharma? Welcome, welcome. I'm still gonna. Okay, actually, we have a ward there already, so we're shit chilling. Ah, uh, not quite. I'm trying to lock the him, her into us, but that's still kind of decent poke, kind of like displacing a little bit right there. Got my Q now. Nice, nice. Let's go. Hey, let's go. I didn't quite hit them right there either. Yeah, I'm not laying my E's quite good. I'm, I haven't. It's been a while since I done like a house in general, so I'm kind of checking up the worst on him 100%. Hey, how are you doing, Skip? Welcome, welcome. We can we can go for gold buff because you have to do that way first. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice. So I'll match this back because I'm getting a little bit low on the health and mana. So right now, um, like I said, we're trying to build strength and combustion. That's just a really good potent, um, just power spike in general on Howitzer. He's playing like Howitzer support. You're kind of playing him for not only just a really good E ability to help this place enemies get some good picks, but also you play him to be a second mage for your team, be able to do really great damage contribution because you support your team by killing your team essentially. Whenever you do a mage support like a Howitzer, a Kalos, a Fae. Not even that will help follow because we just got back to lane, so th we didn't have the mother helping now to follow up right there. There we go. Because hmm. we see the pain now, I can maybe I think he's on the five camp, right? Let me actually just place that on wood. Yeah, he's on the five camp. The so me and Rampage are coming over to see if we can just. Ooh, this might be a little too tricky for us right now. Try to them off a little bit. My mother somehow took a lot of damage right there. Not the greatest um, right there, unfortunately. Get a nice kill right there. We just have to share a little bit because we know Fame Mao is on this side. Wow, they're actually going to hold the freeze right on their faces. Mm. 
Hmm. Okay, we see him back on that camp. I saw the... Oh, didn't quite hit that right there. I'm trying to bully the Famer because he's low. So I'm trying to see if I can just bully him whenever I can. That Famer has no blink by the way, so he can't really engage on my Murloc. So that's good for us. A two tail but could be a little bit better. Cause I think I knock her away from the minion wave, so she not end up not taking as good damage as we like. But she's getting low, so I can I should be pushing aggressively on her actually. Kind of off a little bit like that. We got the blink down mail, very good for us. We won't have to be careful of the fame mount gain. But I don't think he's on this side anymore. Let me take a quick peek behind us. Yeah, we're kind of chilling. Mm, looks like my mother wants to take it back. Oh, it's actually the gold buff so That is great. Nice. So I'll take a look at the CS really quick. 53 to 62. So actually a little bit behind on CS, um funny enough, but um I think once we hit six, both me and the Moda, we're gonna have a lot more kill to it. Especially with me being the ult and whatnot. So I think the only thing I have to be mindful of for Kira is her ultimate, but I can heal out of it to interrupt that. But other than that, um I think we'll be kinda showing. Oh, that was a fun interaction right there. I'm gonna just stop the batch, kind of waste the time a little bit. I wish he was looking, because I think he could kill the Mario if he saved the snipe for her. But that's all good. We're gonna just shove this in, just to um, make sure they kind of lose this farm, do some damage to the tower. I'm actually gonna... Get the time on the fire camp for wood. I'm gonna go for the river buff really quick. Maybe you can jump to miss. See if I'm out on that side, so we actually good to kind of hold this right here. Get some decent puck right there. Alright, we see Fame out there, we see Murray there, so now we have to be a little careful. Make her like use her E. I think Kira has, she doesn't have life to actually, so she has to just only just push in to like, um, get her health back. Oh, didn't quite hit my E right there. Don't want to use my E because of the Kira ultimate, but also Fame Mouse helping us. I want to save my E to help kind of push people back if we do get ganked. Yeah, we do see um, Fame Mount right there. Looks like he's hoping for the river buff. Actually, I'm gonna go rotate on this. Maybe see if we can get... Okay, he's gonna be out. Oh, looks like the mirror's ulting. So we need take because the kill is also Wotane. I'm gonna actually see if I can get a sneaky finish on the um, J5 right here. 
Because I think he's just backing that T2 tower. Oh, he was just right there. If the melee saw me, that's a, just a little unfortunate part right here. So ulting right here. Because when page is right there, we can easily finish off right there. Just eating off away. Nice, nice. Trying to help finish him off. I missed the kill right there, which almost bad, but we would still kind of secure that kill. So none of us die right there. Both me and Mona can't help with the fainters because we're both very, very oom. But we can try to run over ASAP and just hover just in case. So do you guys already kind of got your teams together for the competitive night tomorrow? Because it's so interesting, um, they're doing the only 5 stacks, so it may be hard for some people to find people, um, for other players to play with. But I think there's plenty of like Discord communities and whatnot. Oh, we should not be um, fine. Oh, it looks like we are gonna be fine. Intro up the female ultimate right there. Hmm, I may... I may die to the kill right there. Uh oh, that may not be. Oh. I'm gonna swap my quest. I just want to see how this fight is going more than anything. Oh, you can't undo your quest? What? Oh, that's a little unfortunate actually. You can usually undo your quest um, and choose again, but it won't let me because I think I want San Antonio actually. So that's, that's a little unfortunate, I can't undo that even though I never left base right there. There's nothing for me to really silence besides maybe a Sevog Root or a uh, Knockback. Could technically use it under getting all to walk out there faster. But I really want for the key was to be able to kind of silence the ultimate. Mm. Oh, that's really important. See, this is the one thing I'm so like get sad every time I um, walk away from lane bit is when my ADC just get dove on and die. Cause I'm trying to just get some deep wards, which is what you want to do as a kind of support. But like because I was away from lane just for that like 10, 20 seconds, my mother just died because he just got caught out by himself. Well, definitely, um, Skim, there's a lot, um, discords you can, um... Oh, it actually hurts a bit. There's definitely a lot, um, discords, like, the, there's a normal player that's a discord you can, like, kind of go to, um... There's a lot of this, I think there's a lot, if you look around, there's a good amount of discords you can look and, um, be able to find people to group up with. Okay, so Mother is actually going mid. I thought he was gonna go left and maybe we can jump on the Kiva, but he's actually covering mid, so I actually got poke out right there, unfortunately. Okay. So, Lightning Heart. So, me and my Kiva, uh, Mother got on even turns. Well, I think the Kira wants to back. Murray looks like she's backing, so we can shove this in and we can see if we can knock down this T1 tower right here. The Kira will drop down here. Okay, she looks like she back. Almost killed her right there. Nice, nice.
Okay. Uh. Okay, let's say. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna still get caught. Maybe if I live long enough on my fling. Nah. nah. A little unfortunate gank right there. Um, it makes sense because the faint tooth is coming up, but hmm. Because yeah, she actually has terminus, so she actually um, beats my mother pretty hard. Same with like she's five and two. Because I think she's been keep picking up kills across the map by the looks of it. See the fan mount right there. They're trying to sweep the mount, see what's um, up and whatnot. I'm just shoving this out because I want to try to get pride for this fan twos. Yeah, they're already on there actually. The good thing I was pushing out. Get wood right here. Nice. We're able to kind of sneak it in. Let's go. Let's actually go mid, because Rampage has a mini prime, the T1 mid is still up, so we can maybe help um, the Rampage and see if we can knock it down this tower. Oh, it's my here. Nice, let's go. Oh, although he was almost able to one be 2 right there. Oh, so he's kind of still getting knocked down right there. I'm gonna go back because I'm the may still push for the T2. Actually, I'll keep pushing. It seems like they're not. Okay. Oh, maybe I should back then. I thought we were going to push hard on that T2 tower mix. Hey, what's up, Imperfect? Hey, what's up, Liam? Welcome, welcome. Doing some good old Harry support. Because I figured this is going to be just another fun me support to kind of give it a spin. Three mids, so I'm gonna kind of hover mid a little bit just to help my Shinbi if she needs it. Get some good poke on the mid right there. Huh. Look at me. Yeah, we definitely, we can definitely, um... Nice. So we can actually make a push for T2 left, because we see three of them are down, it's only the set of Amelia right there. I have not tried game support yet, but I have seen the play. It looks a lot of fun because your just games ultimate is just a really good team ultimate in general. Actually, she is walking up a little. How we support, by the way. Oh, my Q somehow missed. Oh no.
Ah, uh, we keep getting like called out a little bit too hard. But we make we got the two two love. Nice. It's not um too bad for us at all. I'm gonna be picking up Tain Center because that girl has a lot of life steal. Then we're gonna try to like um help our team reduce her life steal so she's easier to kind of burst down. It's definitely what we have, the advantage we have is a um, Fang Tooth. So we can definitely win this out through just objectives. So it's only one of the team that's actually really fed is the Kiwa. And she's someone we can easily kind of focus down and keep an eye out for. Yeah, that's the, that's the biggest downside of Howie is the fact that um, he, he does have a lack of mobility. You, you could technically play safe as long as you play your E well, but if you have four people wanting a, a, um, at you, there's nothing much you can do to get out, right? If it's just one person, you can eat them away and just walk out. That's a really nice pick. Now we can do painters really easily. Yep. Get some nice poke right there. Won't, won't really matter because uh, she can life steal that pretty easily with Terminus. But it's good to kind of poke them whenever we can. Okay, looks like he wants to make the call on Prime. So let's do it because I think we can actually do it. We definitely got the picks and we have the DPS to do it by now. So if Emma does see us, oh, should be getting caught up by stuff like that is not. We might have to get. I think we have to get off this. Maybe we can ult in immediately. Wait, just focus him. Try to keep the game out. Yeah, I think we just get out. She's she's actually really strong, so she there's a chance we mess up and she kill all of us. We just go straight for faint twos. That's definitely the smart play. Now we, now we can take it back and then just pick up Kane Scepter right here. That looks like my crunch is getting by that. Oh yeah, Kira's on that side. I think he's fine. Yeah, it looks like they're backing up. They might be trying to look for anything to steal on the west side jungle. Oh, my stream is getting dove on. Oh, he's going in hard on that keyword. Well, oh, he actually just beats her. Wow. Maybe she's not as scary as I thought. Oh, and I actually get the finish off right there. Let's go. Oh, yeah, because my punch is actually really strong, too. He doesn't have, like, a whole, like, ton of kills, but his CS is really good right now. So, he has been getting some really free farm, actually, this game. Cause yeah, he's pretty much even on iron against the Kiwa. Hey, what's up, Bosey? Welcome, welcome. I'm just doing some good old Howie support.
Nice, nice. Oh my goodness gracious, that was such a good... Um, oh no. <laughs> I was like trying to get Akko and went into the team, uh, enemy team. Oh my god, he's trying to style on me. No. I thought he was going to on be away, but he actually did it for the style points. I think that uh, my team just ends here, right? Yep. GG's. Oh, thank you, thank you, Bugsy. I figure, um, at this point, with just how, like, I just kind of went through all the different heroes at this point, try all the different builds. Kind of like the best way to kind of keep things a little bit more fresh is start to do kind of off-meta stuff. And I do will actually really enjoy the off-meta stuff. I just have a support game. It was actually a lot of fun. Somehow... How we support, by the way. Somehow I'm like top damage um, on this team besides like the Rampage. Oof. Okay. That's interesting. Because how I support is actually really poor then, um, because I mean just how is it in general, it's just a really strong mid laner, like him and Gideon are probably the top two mid laners in the game right now, they're always like first pick or ban and tournaments too. So, so, so that's kind of what happens, when you have a certain champion that is just so so strong, they can be also pretty strong outside of the attendant role kind of thing so um that's why house of support is really good because house of mid is one of the best melee besides gideon he house have a really good e has really good poke and just damage overall so he yeah, works actually great as a support i mean i could try to do a gain support i think i want i'm gonna jump hmm I mean, it depends on if I get support offline this next game. I'm not gonna do Chimera Carry because that's off meta for sure, but that sounds like just not a good time at all. It sounds like you just get poked out of lane and just can't do anything. Alright, looks like we're doing the offlane. Because I am trying to also kind of shake up the rest a little bit and get ready for competitive night to, um, tomorrow night. And I think offlane is going to be that role I'll be playing for my team, so I'm going to try to get some games on the offlane role 100%. How's the audio been? Um, I haven't seen anyone mention any audio dips so far. Because Bugsy is mentioning um, how like sometimes my audio gets all messed up. And I think it just um, with, with how I'm kind of splitting the audio, there's some potential um, risk for being an audio issue for some reason. Because I used to um, do the audio split no problem for a couple months, but then after one predator update, it starts to get like on and off kind of like bad. So I'm not sure if the game was doing it or something with OBS um, did it. So I've been trying to take it around with my OBS settings and trying to make sure um, I don't get those audio hiccups as much anymore. Am I using a force meter? Um, not well. I'm just using my kind of my wakeless source on um, mic right now. All right, I'm gonna play actually Orange Man this game. I haven't done a steel offlane for you guys in a while. Plus, I'm trying to get better with tanks in general because I think right now, especially when the kind of tank meta and tanks are the one kind of heal enough that I don't play as much, but it's starting to get pretty hard to play something like a Countess or like um, Fey Mao, just because they both get shut down by tanks pretty hard, and tanks right now is actually just really strong. Which hero I'm the most excited for? I'm very most excited for Quan. He is one of my favorite OG offlands back in Paragon, so I'm really hoping he's a new offlane season too, because I was kind of expecting 
Hero's gonna be season two because that weather pole they show off Greystone phase and Quan. But now they're saying there's a mid laner and off laner, so I'm really hoping it's not Greystone but Quan that gets the cut in for off lane this season. Hey, what's up, Tony? Welcome, welcome. Sorry, give me one sec to mess around my settings. Alright, so... Still offlane. We're, we're probably against a Shinbi offlane by the looks of it. So, I... This is sort of an interesting matchup. I think Chimbi technically outscale us over the long one, but I think we're a pretty good lane bully against her, all things considered. So I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if I want to do Foy Helm or Taining Bastion against her. Probably better to go Taining Bastion because I think Chimbi likes to build like li um, Lifesteal, like Life Binder, or like Tempest. So getting Taining Bastion can help shut down our healing. While also just being great a magical defense item against her. Hello, punchy do. Minions are spawning. Okay, so she's not going the Arc Link Mess. She's not doing Tempest, but she could still do um, a Life Binder kind of item choice. We have to wait and see. Maybe going for him would be a little bit better in this matchup. Because it's technically a bit more better sustain. See our way, we're doing a pretty good job at poking her down while shoving the wave a little too hard. Dodge that Q. Push her away like this, and now we're gonna just all in on her because she's behind my wave. And the minions are just gonna kill her because, yeah, she fought in my wave that I kind of had stacked already. Um, playing around your wave wins you lanes. Same though I don't have the most highest DPS off laner, I can still have a lot of DPS by playing around with my wave state. Don't actually have to back quite yet. I just wanted to see if I can get the shove in. I get, I got most of the shove in. That's all that matters. So let's see if we can get some deep wars by right here. See where the fan mount's at. He's going for the left river buff. Oh, I took the tower shot when I didn't need to. I still have two health pods, so that's very good for us. Wave would be a little bit better spot because it's gonna shove a little bit away. Oh, she dashed through me immediately. So I actually missed my ombi because of that. You use her E right there, now just walk away. Just on B immediately. Again, we're trying to like play around our wave states. 
I think we just won the down actually. And we kill it for a second time without backing. Let's go. So let's see if we can shove this in all the way, just so we can reset the wave in our favor when we get back to the lane. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, Samir, so I'm not quite sure um, what's causing that error for you. I will go ask in the general predators of Discord and see if anyone can help you out. Because I'm sure you're not the only one that's having that issue right now. So I decided to go Tain Bastion because I think I want to go Tain and God this game. Just because it's just a really fun combo of Tain Bastion. But um, this Kira is going to be playing... Um, Life steal, so I want to make sure I have like Tainted God against her specifically. Again, she's fighting my wave, so she's actually taking a lot of damage from just playing inside my wave like that. Go for these minions. Walk away a little bit because do I don't have minions to kind of help cover me. We do see the Fame Mouse trying to do something right there. Push it towards here. Mm, yeah, but I can't really help my jungler right now because he's really low. You just have to. Oh, uh, he's just gonna die too. But it's, I think it's fine. Oh, wow, she actually went for the tier buff while I was dealing with the wave. That's smart. Now I can kind of just freeze the wave right here since. I don't need, need to I shove it in. I can just take my time farming the wave and send the Shinbi off. Oh wow, she was able to just on B out pretty fast right there. So I'm taking a lot of damage because she's actually having better wave state than I do because she's very good at just shoving waves out in general. So I think I actually need Brimstone. That's the one item I was actually needed to go. Just in general on steel. Oh my goodness. I throw that maybe a little bit. There we go. Oh, thank you, thank you, Tony. I don't know if I'm the best um, offlaner in the game. I, there's plenty of other good offlaners in this game. I definitely need to play the game a lot more seriously if I want to actually be comfortable calling myself like that. But um, at least in solo duo, I'm pretty. I can hold my own. Hundred percent. Yeah, definitely brimstone angle. Because like Sephiroth, you can build, go away with doing full full tank on him, but still tank, you need to still build Brimstone for the damage and wave clear. Because I think if I get Brimstone, I can better match the Shinbi um, clears and just having more sustained damage in general. So, we're not going to finish that, we actually need this item first. Uh, shoot, what do I want? There we go. Because now I should be able to match her um, wave pushing and have a lot more damage against her. So we're we'll going Bastion and then we're going to finish out Fire Blossom. So that's our first two items in this matchup. Thank you. 
She might go for the tube buff, so I kind of want to maybe chop this lane out actually, so I can contest it. Let's do that immediately. Mm, don't have Kyoto against her. I kind of need my on B first. Got the blink out. Nice, nice. Now I can alter and she has nowhere to get out unless she on B's out. So it might be looking like a tower dive angle. Uh, I should just alt it after Q because you can actually um, get out of that pretty quickly because the Ombi stun is not super long. Uh, the Fame Mount is here too. I can actually kill the Gideon and maybe um, Shinbi if the Fame Mount wasn't there but 3 people wide lane is a little on the left side unfortunately. Because yeah, if I just Q and ult melee, that's a guarantee CC combo. But if I Q on B ult, that's not a guarantee CC combo. So I messed that up right there. Enemy tower under siege. Getting to the point of the game where I saw one keep an eye out to rotate the painters whenever they decide to do it. But when, if they're not doing that, I'll just kind of hover and just keep pushing farming as much as I can. It's actually on the two buff, I think. Y yes, she is. I'll actually fight her. Okay, she's actually gonna walk away. Kill right there. Let's go. That's why Brimstone is actually really good in steel because you're able to actually like go for solo kills like that early on. I see if we can knock down the T1 on the way. Then I can start to rotate a bit better for like mid lane and thing too. Yep, I'll be able to take it right here. I can just walk away. Okay, she might actually go on me. I have my ultimate, so. Oh, missed my on B. I'm just wrecking her right here, but I kind of want this, um... Oh, that cannon right there? She is chasing me. Just ult her right here, just to kind of kill confirm. Let's go. So actually, I can farm this wave out, then I can back. Let me ask, I think I have enough damage to take the tier buff. I have no mana to finish off, but my Brimstone is doing a lot of good work, um, deep piercing down the tier buff. Oh, thank you, thank you, Foxy. I just kind of focus on commentating what I'm doing and why, and I think that just really helps people a lot to know the thought process as what's going on in my head. Hmm, they might do fainters actually right now. Okay, actually, they're actually just weighing down going for picks. 
Mm. Yeah, I don't think that Fema can chase anymore. Okay. So I want to try to hover my team whenever it seems like they're on Fane 2's kind of thing, but it seems like we're not doing it. Oh, looks like they're all pressuring me a lot. Okay, now they're looking to maybe do Fane 2's by the way they're walking. But let me see if I can... Nice! Belka was right there, so we were able to get the kill. Are they in the faint tooth? Yes, they are. Don't have ultimate, but still go time for us. Hmm. Uh. Ooh! I got <laughs> smacked right into it. Fire block right here. Let's go team. Now we have to get the first fame tooth, but we got a ton of kills. I think Go surely got the shutdown on fame out too. So I'm rich, ladies and gents. I'm very, very rich. Mm, I want to do mini farm, but no one's around to help. Okay, my pace is on the way, so I, I'll start it and he knows just mind it. I'm actually taking a little bit too long doing this, because my pace is going full tank, and I'm sort of just a full tank at this point too. Oh no, don't do that. You're scaring me. Oh, it's, it seems like I'll be able to. He wanted to give it to me, which is smart. I just didn't want to smite that. Um, when is that low? Uh, I'm looking at the fame now, right now. Oh. And this fame out just kind of entered. Oh, hello, Kira. Okay, he didn't walk. Alt fight here. That's a kill right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, almost got the shin me too. We're just popping off, ladies and gents. And I have many farms, so I actually need to keep pushing with my team. We could knock down this tower, potentially. Oh, actually we're backing off. Alright, that's fine. Um, there's no indication how many stacks there are on you from shin You just kind of have to know from gut feeling. Um, based on how, how much you're getting hit by the Shinbi. And there is the FF right there. Wow. Alrighty then. So... That was a really solid steel game. I think we were sort of behind-ish. Or rather, it's just the Feynman got really fed. And then we were just able to kind of shut him down in the kind of mid-game fights. So... 10,000 damage. So yeah, Jong yeah, that's actually Jong has been popping up. Yeah, that's actually really good. So we're just kind of popping off the team right there. Let's go. So I could maybe give Gideon support a try. I just don't know what you will build because you want to show a bracelet on him. I I I feel like you, you want to right. You, you have you, you have to or else you can't really ult, but it's not really a power spike item. It's the only issue. Because with like um game mid lane, you can just kind of farm and scale, and you can still do considerable damage even if you go this item first. But on the support where your gold income is a lot slower, it's gonna be kind of hard to um do a optimal build pass for Gideon. I mean, we could do combustion shield instead of bracelet. Like, I kind of go combustion first, so we can count our spike our damage, and then we, then we can go like shield instead of bracelet to um make sure we can alt um pretty safely. Yeah, we can just do that then. So 
So I guess the difference between how is the support and gain support is you don't necessarily have like that good CC on the basic ability. You're just reliant on just being a really good kind of poker and just being like just really kind of elusive in these kind of fights. Trying to draw people away, just try to keep poking people from distance and then once you get 6, um, that's when you just look for really good nasty ultimates. I guess the biggest issue with trying to ult as Gideon and support lane is usually support has at least one CC ability, right? So he's getting support is like really kind of matchup dependent. I guess a phase, Muriel, he's fine, but against like a Norbash, a Deco, a Richter, it's gonna be a little bit rough because they can always just yoink on um, the Gideon out ultimate. Hey, what's up, Jordan? Welcome, welcome. I mean, I think Faye is, is a better support than the Gideon because um, Faye she has a very good poke with her E that's better than like a Gideon kind of thing and her ultimate is technically can have bigger um, team fight impacts for this Gideon because like I said with Gideon, um, you need to build certain items to make it ultimate good and we're kind of limited with items on a support world whereas Faye um, she's not limited with the ultimate, she just used ultimate to just kill like the, um, anyone that gets trapped in it, right? So I sort of want to try the Fae, because I think she's probably a better support mage than the game mage, in my opinion at least. Because you can just go max E, and once you hit 6, you just look for opportunity to do a double ultimate boots on them. So I think with Faye, you pretty much do the same build, you do like Mega Custom, Astro Callus, and it's kind of like just the usual Faye build I imagine, right? I think especially building Astro Callus early is going to be good, because you've pretty much, all all you do with Faye support is you all people, and being able to like, you want to make sure you can use it really often by building like, like Astro Callus. I can, for those who don't know, that's what I'm talking about, this item right here. Well, every time you get a takedown, you refund 20% of your ultimate cooldown. Yeah, that's potentially mana issue to face support. But the thing is, all you do in lane is you mostly just use your um, harvest nethers. You don't really use your Q and RB that much unless you're trying to like secure a kill. Because yeah, if you keep using all three abilities, you're going to run out of mana quick. But if you only use your E, then I think you don't have as much of a mana issue. Okay, the same. Because every time you hit an enemy hero, you get refund. So as long as you hit your E's and just mostly use your E in lane, you don't really get the one to mend the issues, I believe. But I think Hollow Bray is not a bad item still. Yeah, I think I kind of want to give Hollow Bray a shot. Because I think with Howard Search, he technically has some mana sustained with his passive, so. I don't think you don't do Hollow Blade on the house of support, but um, for someone like Faye, maybe I should be a beneficial. But I think as you send transition to the mid to late game, that's when you're gonna actually start using your whole kit a lot more often. Just using your B, the clear waves, and all that kind of stuff. So um, what do you call? I think when you trans transition to mid to late game, you want a little bit better mana sustain. So actually going Hollow Blade makes sense for that. So I don't play Overprime because I'm very interested in playing a MOBA and I consider Overprime to be a team brawler game. Um, I don't think Overprime is much of a MOBA or rather I think it really lacks the polish we come to expect in MOBAs nowadays. Because Spider Dust definitely has that quality for a MOBA or just for a, a competitive kind of game in general. Overprime, last time I played was for April Fool's kind of video, and I that was what. So I played the, the first beta Overprime, and then I played the um, game Overprime earlier this month. The gameplay felt exactly the same, still felt really rough. Like, like feels like I'm walking through sand kind of thing, just not feel great at all. So it's just the fact that um, I don't think Overprime has the priorities right. The priorities are the skins, and selling those skins 
is their priorities. But the gameplay polish that people have been bringing up complaining about, they haven't touched that at all. But they've been making plenty of skins, so that's kind of like why I don't play Overprime. But yeah, Samir, um, that's what I was thinking too. Definitely wait for the minutes to stay in danger like the Mega Cosm um, Astro Catalyst. Um, do I feel the MMR on API, API website similar to how the game adjusts the in-game MMR? I think it's sort of accurate, but not the best. Cause um, I was looking through the website and I see account. I see um, like a top ten player, but he only has ten games. Like he's grandmaster, but only ten games. So something's off with that. I've also seen um, people playing custom games like Squimming, but it's counting as their MMR. So people, so them are just. Um, not the most accurate I can say. It could be better, but um, I don't look. I don't pay attention to MMR on that website too much. It's good. F it's good for people who care more about that kind of stuff, for like climbing purposes and whatnot. But I don't really care too much about climbing. I care about kind of having fun and whatnot. Well, hey, what's up, Michael and Mikasu? Welcome, welcome. I decided that with the competitive night happening tomorrow night. That this would be a good time for me to stream, kind of get some check up the worst, um, get back into the game a little bit more before the competitive tonight, but also try to hang out with you guys on the weekday evening. Because I do realize streaming on the weekday afternoon, people are at work or at school or whatnot, so I'm trying to push my streaming closer to evening time so I can catch more of you guys online and whatnot. It's just usually I have some, I'm, I'm usually busy in the evenings is the reason why I haven't been able to do as much evening streams because because Friday I always try to leave it open for family and whatnot Thursdays looks like it's gonna be playing competitive nights unless I decide to take off from it and just play like solo queue and then all that and then on Tuesdays I'm on the podcast now so I'm, I'm kind of booked up three of the five days already now so it's only like a Monday or Wednesday I can um do like an evening live stream, so that's why I'm kind of doing it today. What I think of the Predator to Pro MMR, um, I'm not too sure on that because I think Predator to Pro doesn't have as much data compared to a Meta City when they first launched, but maybe they have a lot more data to work with, so probably the MMR thing is a little bit better. I can take a quick look. Um, it's like for example when these two sites just launched. Um, I was kind of like 2400 MMR on Predator Pro, but I was like 2100 MMR on Omega City. So like the calculations are definitely different for both sites. So like, yeah, right now if you look at my stats, Predator Pro, I'm like 2300-ish. Then Omega City, if I go compare it, I'm like 2100, so about 200 MMR difference, so both sides are calculating the MMR differently. And it makes sense because um, they're the public API, but how people interpret and analyze that data can be different. So it makes sense the two sides, run by two different groups of people, are being done differently. How do I keep myself from not getting tilted? Um, I think I just... I think I just don't take the game too seriously, I guess I would say. Because, um... How do I say it? Because, like, right now, like, it doesn't matter if I win or lose. There's nothing I lose or gain. Because this is just regular queue, right? You just kind of queue up and play and whatnot. So, I think I just... Don't get kind of bent out of shape. I just kind of focus on my own gameplay. Because... I guess how I say it is I always try to look for stuff that I kind of feel accomplished that game. Because for example, I could be like 8 and no in my offlane, but then um, all my aliens are losing and we lose the game kind of thing, right? And I won't necessarily get upset because I felt like I did my I did my job really well and I did what I had to do in my offlane well, so I just kind of look at the positives more than the negatives, I guess I'm trying to say.
So, I, I mean, it's definitely just an outlook kind of thing. I mean, MOBAs tend to be a little bit more frustrating or attract more toxic people because it is sort of more on the competitive side. But it still very much can be a fun casual game if depending on how you look at it too. Because I've always been really passionate about Paragon. And so I think it's just the more casual side of me is just kind of up and about whenever I just play Predestor because I just love, love Paragon so much back in the day. And I definitely love Predestor because it just really nails that Paragon feeling that I missed all these years. So if I'm getting camped by the jungler and offlane and mid lane, then my doing offlane should be pushing their own lanes. Yeah, so what you're saying makes sense because if you are getting, if the offlaner is ganking you as the mid laner, it, it, it really depends. Um, Cause the only time I, was, I can see the offlane not pushing the lane is if they're trying to have a freeze. Cause if you have a freeze, well, you can by using your freeze wide, you can really deny the offlaner their CS. Because what could be happening is that the reason why the offlane is ganking your mid um gorilla mope is because your offlane is freezing the wave, they cannot step up because they're just gonna get collapsed on and die. So they look to do something else, and that is trying to look for river buffs, trying to maybe gank mid because they can't walk up to the wave kind of thing. So I think when you see people kind of farming and chilling, I think some of it is they freeze the wave really good and the laner, enemy laners have no choice but to look elsewhere and make other impact, right? But at the same time, um, I mean, if the offlane has the wave pushing, like it's not even the freeze, it's kind of in like the middle of the lane and the enemy offlane gig mid, then yeah, I'll, I will push the wave and get that all the way into tower and by the time enemy offlane comes back, they lose all that minions. Oh yeah, no, that's a good general rule of thumb, if you're like in lane and then your laner leaves, like they're back to base or they go and try to gain the nether lane, you either have a choice of freezing your wave and just trying to maximize your CS or you chop the wave in and you make sure all those minions die on the tower when no enemies can take it. It's so it just really depends on the situation and the matchups and whatnot. When games make games stressful, so I mean, we only have a public API, and that public API is not like the like gospel, right? Like people will try to use the public API, look at the stats, and be like, "Oh, you're you're like gold, like kind of thing. You're trash, dude. Why am I in the same lobby?" Like people are gonna be toxic one way or another. Is it? They just they use the numbers to kind of just enable them, right? But I mean, if someone is just looking at people's ranks in their casual queue where win or losses doesn't matter, then that's just, um, that's just like, they're just being funny at that point. Because I mean, rankings and an actual rank mode, that is, that can be stressful, but we're talking about regular casual queue. It's like, it doesn't, I don't, pe I don't think people should get um, too hung up on like the, what you call like the stats, the public API, and like um, what your MMR is. I know people still do, and those are the ones that um, typically are not the f most fun of players to play with, anyways. I'm glad you're able to find the fix, Samir. I'm pretty sure that. That was a bug error that someone had mentioned at some point with this game being out that long. That's why I said to check out the official predator of the Discord because they kind of have all that resources up. I just never wanted that issue myself, so I didn't know how to help you when I was playing my match. Oh yeah, no, no, Flame, that's exactly um, what it is. It's just getting tilted stress. It's just like a personal choice. And for me, I think that's kind of like, I just have a different outlook whenever I play like MOBAs and whatnot. I just kind of take it easy and have fun. So I, just, I don't typically get, get like tilted at all because of that. So now it's officially less than 24 hours until we start. So yeah, this so compared to the nights, it's gonna be opening up at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So it goes for three hours, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be really interesting to see um, how compared to Knights go. 
Because they did say um, everyone's MMR is going to be the same when you start out. So I could be... That kind of tells me I can be technically in a 5 stack with my friends who we all diamond players. But we can match up with bronze players. That's what it kind of, the impression I'm getting from it. But I feel like there's some... I feel like there's still some kind of an, another MMR that if it's a 5 stack of diamonds um, queuing up, they should be stacked with... They should be killed against other five stacks of diamonds, not a five stack of silver or gold, right? But I don't know. We have to wait and see how the um uh, how it goes. Cause I mean, when I queue up and play competitive nights with me and my buddies, I think it'd be really obvious how the MR goes if if we face keep constantly facing against other people who seems like they're not as familiar with the game, then something's a little off, right? Cause they said that it's gonna be a clean slate. Yeah, they start with the same MMR, so that pretty much means that, hey, I have a 5 stack with Grandmaster players, but that's the same MMR as a 5 stack of Bronze players. That's pretty much what they're the same right here, so that's why I'm kind of like, uh, I wonder how this is going to go, kind of thing. But, I guess we just wait and see. I don't think it will be that bad, because, um... Playing the five stack versus playing the solo queue is actually quite different experiences. Like I think I'm pretty decent at the solo and duo, like just playing just by myself kind of thing. I can just do um, carry my own games. But trying to play in like a five v five tournament is actually a totally different kind of mindset you need to have. Like there's a lot of different other skills and knowledge you need to know, or else even like me can can kind of struggle in these tournaments. Kind of weird not actually find a game. I feel like I've been talking for a while, and that's because we haven't found a game yet. So right now it should be peak NA time. Actually not, huh? Because there's usually two peaks that goes on throughout the night, so... Maybe just we're waiting on the second peak is what we're waiting on. Yeah, I can kind of show you guys what I mean in just a sec. Uh, what's the setting for it? There we go. Oh, it's still not showing. Maybe I have to turn this off. There we go. Because this is what I mean. Like, there's usually like two peaks. So, like, there's a small peak and then a big peak. So, right now, we had a small peak stepping down. So. I'm kind of. I'm hoping we get we get some more players on soon, and we just have to kind of down low until the next peak. Oh, speaking of defo, now we got into the game. So, let's do this. And Nerfline brings up a really good point. Even if you lose lane, your other lanes or other teammates could be winning. So at that point, if you cannot by yourself carry the game, then you should look at who is the one that's going to carry your team and do everything you can to enable and support that person. So that's kind of always why tank off lanes are always going to be good. Because not even in the tank meta, but tanks in general is always going to be good because they're usually the best heroes to enable other people to carry like think of the classic adc is really fit um a tank off lane that plays around with the support jungle he can do a really good job enabling that carry to even carry harder if that makes sense Because, let's say in that Steel Shimbi game we had, if I lost lane against Shimbi, and I can't really do it against her by myself, but um, my carry starts to pop off, then I can just play the second spell for my Murloc, just play around him, and peel for him, lock down people, and I can carry the help carry the game through just enabling my other teammates just to carry the game better. So we're actually going to... Lose a 50-50 go jungle. 
I want to do Vayne Mel, haven't done him in a bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna um, do Vayne Mel Jungle. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Because we have a Sevog offlane, so this match is really good. Because actually, whenever I live stream, um, I typically um, don't try and play jungle too much because I have in previous live stream where I felt like I was so against stream snipe. Like I think earlier on, especially, I got some really bad games where it was hard to play jungle because uh, people always knew where I was at, and even though I didn't walk on the walls, people just back up knowing I was gonna gank them kind of thing. Because um, because it, yeah, so it's just. I try to play like just the other lanes because it doesn't matter if they see your screen because you're always going to be in vision. Whereas jungle is all really all about like vision and knowing how to like avoid walls and avoid like line of sight, right? That's a big thing about jungle. But if I'm streaming, someone can always just tune into my stream and see where I'm at on 24-7 and I can make jungle not so fun at that point. Oh wait. So we're gonna be going like this kind of traditional fame of jungle, kind of like next. Definitely gonna be building Malady first. That's kind of like the I'm always one go fame Mal. Not quite sure what we. Um, does anyone know what six usually build? Because six is kind of like a grunge fame Mal kind of jungler, right? He kind of knows like all the tech on fame Mal jungle pass. I know it's hundred percent Malady. I just can't remember what's. A great second item after it. Like, does he do like Malady and Pain Weaver kind of thing? Now, it's the only thing you do melee on Fame Jungle. I know 100% you do Malady. It's just I'm not too familiar with um, Fame Mal's second, third, fourth items. I think what I'm gonna do is Melody, Pain Reaper, and Omen. I like the full kind of assassin kind of build Fame Mal. I don't think you do Pain Reaper. You need like Melody uh, first item. So I'm looking at ganking mid first because my wide lane is really push up hard. It's gonna be hard to do any ganks on that side. So I can look to go mid because mid card actually doesn't have the greatest mobility. Hmm. Oh, he's kind of push up right there. Got a blink out. That's very good for us. Let's go. Not sure if Kami's gonna run straight at me or he's gonna invade my blue. I, I'm gonna try to see if this blue hit level 3 and look to gain fights. Because now the push. Okay, yeah, see, he's gonna be over there. So I should attack right then before the Kami gets over here. There we go. Nice, nice. Just be careful why because I know the Kaimel is looking around. Ally tower under attack. So I'm gonna go for the river buff. She's actually gonna drop down. Get this. She has no blink by the way, so we just run her down. I think wait, look Kaimel's on level two. Yeah, we get his blink out too. That's huge blade engines. Very good stuff. You see how I kind of adapted because I that juice that blue buff was very tempting, but I saw Kamel's coming over. I have no smite, no reason to buy on that because I was looking at white. I just, I saw the drunker low, so we're just able to get the kill right there. Enemy 
We can just we can go on Pelica actually. She's no blink by the way. The game blinks early. It's just so massive, guys. Because that Pelica died twice because we got the blink early, and then we just came mid again, finish her off. She tried to help the Chimera, and she still had the end blink, so we're able to get an easy kill on her. So looking to clear my blue side and back to get then get my kind of um, some items online. Yeah, we're back right here. Uh, no, not. We're gonna go Melody, so yeah, we're gonna get some a lot of items off this back. So about 800 more gold, and then we get Pink um, Melody. So we're gonna be aiming to make our next back to get that item. Oh, what the heck! A lot of people are chasing my highway down, unfortunately. So definitely we're gonna be going for my web buff. I still could run through my 5 cam. I think Belka is gonna have a blink up by the time the next time I gain, so that's one thing to keep notes. I'm trying to see if maybe we can gank white. And then if we get a good gank off we white already. Oh, that's a mid lane, what the heck? Mm. I can maybe kill the Bellica. Oh no! I got knocked up as soon as I used my arm B. That is troll then. Wow. That's really unlucky. Cause I knew Bellica didn't have a Q because she must have used it on my webnet. So I was pointing on to it. Gonna use the finisher off then blink away. But maybe I should use it earlier. I just I got knocked up as soon as I used my on B. That was just really unlucky by right, timing right there. Allied tower under attack. So we're gonna be a little bit be not I don't think we're gonna be behind behind, but we're not gonna be as dominant anymore, unfortunately. Wait, she's going for the white river buff. I thought Hauser was going to get to that white river buff much faster. Hmm, she's still a bit too far away. So, I'm going to show face right here, unfortunately, so they know where I'm going. Because I want. Okay, so let's see. Actually, I'm going to go look at left then. Even unless the mode like is pretty low at that point. Don't know if he has blink or not, so I'm gonna save my arm B for when it really matters. Okay, maybe he didn't have blink right there. Nice nice. We did see the camps up. So gonna see if there's anything we can take. Cause we saw the two camp was up, so we're gonna Actually? We might be able to get the sneaky kill on Belka. Ah, uh, I'm coming. I'm trying. Hmm. I'm gonna try to fight this. Yeah, we have the house right here, so we actually chilling. Let's go. Oh, hello. Hmm. Uh, he's actually. I really want to take this two camp, but Modok is actually still following. Actually, he's going there. Alright, now I can actually take this then. 
looking at the web above by now I think I can get to it um, by the time I finish this Oh, Mo is passing towards me because hmm. I think he wants the web above right there actually we can get him Nice. Sevar saw that he was roaming to there, so that was a really good um, rotation by the Sevar for us to finish off the Murloc right there. Wow, that's full away. Because, yeah, they did saw me, I was on this left side. I, I want to do my blue buff really quick and then back because I think they're gonna go for the brain tooth but I'm not in a good position to do it because I kind of need the back first mm, looks like they're not doing it but come back can always be soloing it so I kind of want to take a really quick peek and see kind of what's up over there so grab this I am. Hmm. Oh, he's on my web buff. I'm gonna fight. I was like trying to get my blue. My first life was enough, so I was trying to like save it and then use it to finish off right there. So, greedy Kamel will get killed right there, ladies and gents. Look at mid. Hmm, I don't have my. Now I have my arm B. No, no stun. Nice, let's go. Let's see if we can help the Howitzer shove the lane then. Maybe we can knock down the team one. Maybe. We have a decent size wave. Yeah, I think we can take it down right here. Oh, Camel is right there. Oh, hmm. It should be fine, right? Oh, I think I'm still looking at my support. I can't really tell. Okay, not. Oh, the Deku got the kill right there from the RMB. Hmm. We can maybe go on this actually. How are we? I'm not sure what the time is at. I don't see if there's anything that can steal. There's a blue buff that I might try to go for really quickly. Because time doesn't be on this side. Oh, they just killed the Chimera. We could maybe look at Faint Tooth. That's the jungle of death. Hmm. It really depends on if my team... Okay, we can't do it then. You see how my team is just kind of oof. Middle of its backing, power of backing. So we can't take advantage of it. So let's take a reset right here. Great Pain Reaper online. We're actually really fed right now. My goodness. Yeah, definitely Sev is just going to be able to outscale the ADC 100%. You get bullied a lot early on, but you have so much sustain that you can just kind of live with the poke and whatnot. Okay, looks like Chimera is looking. Wait. Yeah, we can just fight him right here. Don't want to use my arm B. Okay, I'll just use this because he is getting low. His team is in no will heal. Wait, get the Bellica then. Wait, she blink up! Okay, so we got the Bellica blink again. No tower by the way, so I can actually chase. Oh? 
I might go for the style kill right here. There we go. Hello, Kamiya. Do you want to fight me? No, you do not, because you are three levels down, my friend. So, actually... Maybe we can look right. It's just so hard to do. Um, yeah, it's so, a, little, a little tricky to do. I just don't know if there's a ward right here. Because if I use it, they can heal it, technically. Oh. Wait. That was... Oh my goodness. That Deku... My Bellica blinking in for the forward bomb stun was... Chef's kiss. Gotta love it, guys. Mm. We can just do a pain to us. I've been kind of neglecting my pain to us do these, but I am 11 and 1. I've been... I'm 3... 10 4 lows on this kind of mirror, so... Even though I'm not the objective jungler, I'm helping my team by just killing one of the team, apparently. Oh, uh, so do the um, Soul Reaper tech by just doing the Temple of all 360. Yeah, we can definitely do it. It's so fair at this point that we can probably have some fun, right? So we should definitely do that. And I have ultimate 14. So maybe we can do on this strong go. 10 seconds. Alright, two, one. Oh, not quite the 360, because that was my first high attempt on the. I can do a 360 on the ground like that. Just doing it on the AO, and it's a little tricky, guys. Just a little. It's a little intimidating, because I never. I never do the strat. I never go up in the AO and alt. So it's a little disorientating when you do that initially. So I think doing. That was satisfying enough for you guys. Uh, yeah, definitely an omen angle. Hmm. Let's go for blue buff, and then we can just go for mini prime right here. I can do it with or without um my, uh, what you call my setbox. But I should do plenty of damage to um mini prime by myself. Oh. He can move right there. Hmm. Oh. Okay then. I totally messed up that combo by the way. Didn't matter because I am a very fair female. Cause I think I used my quest after just hitting one two people and I have HP that um Murdoch right there. Like what? Why? Oh no minions! Ooh, there's a lot of people. 
So it looks like we are going to be backing up right here. Fantus is coming up, so I think I'm going to clear my boots like really quick. Just trying to maximize as much gold as I can before I back and get more items. Yep. So grab all men. Then try to think what we can go for. Alright. Let's go dread. I think dread's gonna be good. But why not? Cause I just like to take down component by getting like, or you get um, missing health back whenever you t kill an enemy. Alright, so I'm gonna try my next attempt on doing the 360 up in the air against this um, very um, juicy jungle. Or maybe against the Chimera. Oh yeah, we're looking at the Chimera. Oh, maybe not with a lot of stuns right there. Still waiting to do my up in the air, so maybe we can do it right here in this sec. Oh, this guy is low. <laughs> there we go. That was a very proper 360 in the air style points right there. Howie, that hurts. I'm very kind of oomph, so I can't really push anymore. I'll be right back. Because I do have a giant bounty on me right now, and I'm a very low HP assassin. So definitely, all I, do, all I need to do is get sneezed on by the enemies, and I'm very dead female. We need a clip option, so you can actually clip the live stream. I think there's some... There's some, I know there's a clipping feature, it's just not as, I guess, intuitive as kind of like a Twitch thing. It's not, but it's definitely, um, you can do it. Maybe it's something you can only do after the live stream? Actually, no, you can do it during the live stream because I have people doing clips while in this live stream. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Earth Shatter is ready. Oh. I'm so far away. Oh my arm my arm doesn't go through it like that, unfortunately. Go through here. Hello jungle. You know what how this is gonna end? It's gonna end like that. XD. Oh, that's a very sad comment right there. He actually was trying to ult and he just immediately got CC to unlock. Very poor comment right there, indeed. Let's just go with Grab Fainters really quick and then we can do Prime. An Definitely props to the enemy team for not surrendering. Cause you guys saw some of my games. It was sort of even-ish, but we got early FF anyways. But this is obviously a very one-sided game, but the enemy team is still hanging there. So definitely props to them and them sticking around for this game.
Mm. We wipe back and then we can go for old prime. This kind of help like close out the game. Because I think we just need that item to be able to um, end the game more, a lot more easier. Because Core is still pretty strong. It clear rage really quickly. But if you get the old prime buff, you make the mains much beefier. And then you just go for the push to end right here. This Chimera is dead because I have Pain Reaper and I'm Pain Mal, so I think I should just catch him because Chimera has no mobility whatsoever. See how we're all like right here already? Oh, oh no, he blinked out. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing keeping Chimera safe from a Pain Mal that just literally Pain Reaper wants him down. See if we can do it for one more last 360. Oh, he's going in him. Oh no, I was so off mark right there. Ah! I'm actually gonna die. That should be GG, right? Oh no. Oh no. Because I was always trying to do with like closer distance with my arm beat, then I blink in the air. But that's. It's different. I think the arm beat, when you arm beat in the air, you start. You kind of. You kind of peak and you slow down, then you fall hard. Whereas blink, you just. Blink up and fall down really fast. So. I think the tech is you have to arm beat in the air because you get more air time. To be able to 360 and um, be able to um, get the 360 off and, and line it up. Oh my goodness. Wow. The core is hanging, hanging by the thread, ladies and gents. So, I get one more last attempt to um, go for this style of 360 in the air. Hey, thank you so much, Snowflame, for um, um, stopping by, and thank you so much for the donation. Thank you, thank you, my friend. I'm trying to see if there's a Murdoch or him pushing still before I blink up. I actually do. Oh, oh there's a ward! They know I'm here! I know there's another ward right here, I'm saying let's clear this. There's another ward right here, let's clear that. Oh. There we go. I got one last one right there. So I got some good assists by the team right there. Ah! Not even hit anyone right there. There we go. Now it's GG. So yeah, that was sort of an interesting game. Because, I mean, I got really, really fit um, somehow. 
I think it's just I just made some really great early game decisions. Cause you guys saw what's happening in the early game. I think I just got a lot of kills early. I was at the right place at the right time. Got some blinks down. I was able to abuse that. I keep killing the same person over and over. So yeah. Very interesting. So it's still kind of funny to me that um I'm I have like twice amount of kills at Hauser, but he has the same DPS as me. I mean, so it makes sense because majors do damage, assassins kind of assassinate Fisher off targets, but still kind of interesting to see we're just neck and neck and damage right there. But definitely that was really fun doing the Soul Reaper tech towards the end, 100%. Hey, what's up, Liv? GG's, my friend. Were you on the Emmy team or were you on my team that game? The Modoc with his legs up in the air? I, I think you're talking about when me and Sevar just kind of gank him in the jungle, right? I think I saw what you mean, but I need to go back and see in slow-mo how that looked. Because I think that actually sounds hilarious. Actually, yeah, let's get back in. Oh, you're the drawn girl. GG's my friend, 100%. Definitely props to you guys, because um, it was very one side at one point, but you guys kind of held on to the very end. So definitely GG's my friend. Yeah, you guys saved the core at 5%. I saw that. It was, you, we were almost, able, the Marines almost got it, but you still have to clear that very good. Cause I think you were actually doing fine because I think I was starting you killing my webnet or support a lot. I just kind of like got fed and then I just kind of on BE and I take like almost your, all your health bar away. Okay, I see. So it was just you, it was only one, two of you guys that were saying no because yeah, you need at least four to get this win to come through. Oh yeah, no, 100%. That's a great mentality to have. Because there are some really good comeback you can make. I have gains where it was kind of in the back. And then I just kind of, we just lose towards the very end. Because we lost like the primal or O prime. And the enemy team was able to make a comeback. So that's definitely really good comeback mechanic you can definitely make. Because I think, um, I have one YouTube video. I try, I'm not sure it's posted or not already, but... I have one video where it should have been a really easy win, but me, my team and I made some critical mistakes towards the end, and we ended up like losing that game. Okay, I haven't posted that video yet, but you guys will see soon what I'm talking about next week. So the interesting thing about very fed assassins is um, even if you have an assassin very fed, all it takes is one CC and that assassin can just be instantly deleted because assassins are glass cannon. So the, the ones that are really hard to take down, I would say are the bruisers or tanks. They really fed bruiser or tank are not only doing a ton of damage, but they have a ton of defensive stats. So they're really, really hard to lock down kind of thing. Whereas like an ADC, like think of a ADC going 20, and uh right but all that means is that you get a cc you hook that person in bust that et down because they have no defenses so kind of glass can end the day and all of a sudden you have a very winnable fight we just said we're gonna try we're gonna try the face support yeah let's do fade well where is it there she is So this is actually good. Um, we get kill one million, so we don't have any CCs to worry about. I think that's the best way to shut down a fairy support is you give with the hook and you're a fairy sad fairy. The battle begins in five, four, three.
So what we want to do in this lane is we're gonna max E, we're gonna go Hollow Blade for the mana sustain, then we're gonna do Mega Costume Astro Callus, and just kinda of go from there. Because you just need the Mega Costume Astro Callus and then you just have to pop up really hard with the pay support and whatnot. So let's go with E first. So hmm. So definitely going to Silent Tonium because I want to ult the Kiwa. But at the same time, may be situations where I'm gonna ult other people and not the Kiwa. So I kind of I'm going console quest so I can get Silent Tonium so I can always save this for to silence the Kiwa ult. That's what I'm gonna plan to do this game. Um, Requiem. There we go. Oh, let's see. So yeah. So I think we just have the only thing we have to be careful of is the keyword dashing in and eating. Because we don't have the CC or the ability to chew up a keyword eating in and we get a bad trade. So we wanna be trying to go for pokes on the keyword Muriel. But we gotta be careful because maybe Kiwa can slow us, we'll fight it in mobile, Kiwa can always E up, and then we're kinda like taking the bash rate, so we just play one on wave states, and I think as long as we play one on wave state, we kinda respect the Kiwa dash and just try to poke with E whenever we can, we'll be seeing a pretty good spot. Yeah, I guess I can ult to stop the Kiwa ult, but I may want to use my ult to ult other people is what I'm I'm kinda saying, right? Oh, I'm very bad with my Fairy E, by the way. That's the one thing I'm so the Wussy on. Enemy like, that should be an easy E right there, but I'm messing that up already. Wait. Ah! He's fighting the wave. Uh, like I just need to, if I land my 2e, she would be dead already. I'm so bad with this. I Maybe I just have to put this on quick cast right now. Really quick. Because I didn't make it easier if I make it quick cast, so give me a sec. Uh, e, shoot. I don't know what the saying is for this. Um, shoot. This, I don't know what, uh, oh, is it? I don't know what ability it is. Oh, okay, I'm gonna figure out later, guys. Yeah, cause like the delay is messing me up. It's one reason I'm bad with my fate here. I think this is in... I may... This is a secondary ability. Okay, secondary ability... Instant. Yep, there we go. Let's see if this helps us a bit laying our ease. Because you can't lend your E as Fade, then um, you're gonna give your AC a really hard time in lane. Got the blink out of Mario. Nice, nice. Actually. 100 more gold, so I'm gonna stay a little bit so I can get Hollow Blade on my back. Oh! I missed my last auto! Unlucky. Oh no! He got the movement speed from me! Oh no. I should just walk away all the way. A little bit out bad for overstaying. At least I got my hollow blade though. So. That would be kinda chilling. And I fixed my instant cast, so I'm gonna lend my ease a lot easier now. So the thing is, I usually leave everything on default. Because certain abilities become like unusable if you have it on instant or quick or whatever kind of saying. So I, I'm able to use all the abilities, got used to them on normal. It's just phase the only one that you have to play on instant. Or else it feels sort of bad, in my opinion. Ally 
I really wish to make Fei E like, um, like instant cast at base. Because I gotta remember after this game, I gotta go back to the settings and change this. See how I'm, I'm only laying my E's already. Because I can, I know it's gonna land when I want to. Yeah, see how I'm, I'm laying my E's already. So now I've fixed my problems. Oh, clicked it a little bit too hard right there. Got the EL right there. Gotta be a little bit more conservative on my mana though. Cause I'm running out of mana already. So I just need to probably use only E and maybe it's Q. Q. That's a, I heard someone backing right there. I didn't say how was it hovering us. Yeah, there's a house right there. A good work by your surely. Mm. I, I'm gonna check. Yeah, he's not here anymore. Okay, he will actually just back right there. So, hmm. I did that, I kind of misclicked that a bit. Ah! Oh, ganks! Miss my E right there. Oh, he won't try to go for the um hero. I think if you just go for the Mario, that would have been a much easier walk to land. Can't be walking up like this, by the way. Yeah, she's that she's dead. Yeah, she went for the war, but me and Drongo are there just to instantly just go on top of her. Oh my goodness. We have four people on the left side. No shot. Nice. They definitely overshade a lot, so at least we get the one for one in that instance. I have ultimates, so. Hmm. Wait, go on this. Ah. <laughs> the walks are coming in. Let's go. The power face the pull. Just press R and you win. Hmm. Okay. You're fighting the minion wave. Pretty hard. You got it's. You don't need to take this fight. We got what we came for. They still f are they actually still fighting? Oh, these guys are maniacs. Oh my goodness. Cause Hauser, I know House is gonna be here because he got back on base. Slow down a little bit right there. Nice, I'll just get out. Nice, so let's get Potent Staff. We're already getting a ton of magical power now. And once we get Mega Custom, we are going to start to pop off big time, ladies and gents. Gini is doing a really good job. He actually took the T1 early because he's punishing the Howitzer for roaming like that. So he saw the Howitzer was chasing over chasing, and he was just able to get a free T1 at like 10 minutes. That's a really early T1 tower on the mid lane especially.
I'm gonna get some walls down around the pit. Let's get one also right there. I actually did try how it's put earlier in the stream, and that was pretty fun. So we're just trying a lot of different maze supports right now. Because they're actually you can make maze supports work if you know how to play them in the support world. I was I think he's te technically the better May support overall, having good pull, very powerful E and whatnot. Faye can work at greater than May support, but she's a lot more easier to punish than like a Howitzer. I have my ultimate, so as I can just look look to just walk up to and press R. Wait, she's wait. Okay, she's very dead right here. Then. Oh no, that hurts. No, the one page is here. Ah, uh, the one page happened to be right here when they come, Kankus. A little unlucky. Cause yeah, Kira has um. Terminus, so she can technically life steal a lot. So we're not able to kill her in that combo. Uh, we just don't. We're just kind of very dead. Because I think Drong just took his Q, but he missed it. So Kira was able to ult instantly, I think, right there. But that won't be an issue once we build more damage items on phase. So we can stop the 100 steel people by ourselves. We just didn't have enough damage burst right there to be an official off. So maybe I have to go tank step the second actually. No, I didn't go Astro Callus. I need the all refund, then I'm gonna do tank center. Because that rampage, they have a shimmy that kill up. We wanna build anti blight. It's just it's gonna take a little bit since we wanna try to prioritize Astro Callus especially. Let's go. We just Oh, we saw the mirror just ult, and me and John were like, okay, we're just gonna go on this killer. So that's kind of just what, what happened right there, ladies and gents. This game is doing so good at punching the wave. Because every time the house is dead, or house is bombing, the game is making a push for the mirror inhibitor. So that really opens up the um the map of the long one whenever he does that. Let's see if we can grab us up a left river buff. Okay, we're gonna get the Gideon instead. Hmm. We may have enough damage to kill. Oh, that's like the mirror's fine our game for some reason, so let's wrap around here. One more E. Oh, he actually wrapped it well. Just that my Q goes to walls. I don't think I catch my um, rampage anymore. And nice, we were able to come together as a team and really punish them overextending right there. Yeah, they were 13 for my Gideon, but the whole team was just right there to kind of punish them for that because they were really caught out of position. Actually, last um game wasn't early at birth. They were actually stick out to the very very end right there. So who knows? It could be early FFF, or they actually play out to the very end. Because, I mean, we have a distinct advantage, but it's not super one-sided quite yet, I would say. Okay, let's go Astro, Callus. Yeah, Dombi is nice. I'm maxing Q first, 
I think people do that on Fey. They max E or Q first rather than on B. Because on B is not guaranteed damage unless you're off someone. Whereas Q is you instantly get the full damage value once you hit someone with it. So it's a bit more having a bit better consistency with um, Fey damage and whatnot. I'm actually walking up to this Fey. Because we saw the Q drop down. So she's obviously going towards the Q. Uh, yep, just right there. Right there. Sounds him right there, so you can ult. Let's go. I can still probably chase down the kill. Uh, on B right there. Walk away. But they should finish off. Yep. There we go. No, the jungle. Oh no, I might die. Oh no. Uh I missed my I missed something right there and I was not able to kill the Mario. Wait, he got the triple? Okay. A little oopsie right there. Mario is hurt. I wonder if she was maxing Q or oh, so, there's some ability that's really hanging hard right there. Yeah, she got the triple. So she's not building like any damage really. I mean she had Marshall, so that, I think that's helping a bit actually. So I tried to style on the moon by blinking after her, but I got styled back instead. But you know it's when it's when you make plays like those, is you kinda learn from, but also gives enemy team morale. So maybe they'll be more inclined, because yeah, I just style on your surely kind of thing. Maybe I can do it again. Maybe that's the hidden strat, guys. You try to style, you fail, you give enemy team morale, everyone's a winner. Not sure if she saw me. Oh, now she sees me. Uh oh. How we? So there's a house there, so we gotta be a little careful. So we just back off all the way. I take a quick back so we can get out some of my HP back in one night. We can also make a quick stop to the mid lane to catch that way. Oh yeah, no, for sure, like, I mean, we were all one HP, but so was she. So technically, we should be able to land abilities and finish her off. We just uh, missed our abilities and she landed everything. Was what kind of happened right there. Right now, I think they're going for the web above, 100%. We do have ultimate in a little bit, so we can use it to look for picks here in a sec. Oh. Should be looking at Kira, right? Don't need the ult right here, because she should be very dead. Yep. So I can save my ult for when we actually need to use it. But I can maybe look at the... Hmm. Not because Rampage is still looking at me.
That's the stasis out of Shinbi. Ooh. Oh! Shinbi's ultimate. I'm somehow still alive. I somehow lived through all that. I think that Gideon E actually saved me because I was able to use it and avoid some like damage while up in the air. Let's go. Got Astro Callus online, so now we do be popping up. Now we're gonna be able to take the Scepter, so we need to actually apply Blight to these um, enemies like the Shinbi, the Kira, the Rampage. Oh, hello Kira. I'm gonna just ult to you. Melee. There we go. <laughs> and there we go. We, we only have to wait 30 more seconds and we have our ultimate to use again. The power of phase support. See to the mist, so we could actually maybe bring this down. Cause we have ultimate in a little bit. There we go. Able to put down the game before uh the web page on me before he was able to. Uh oh, we might have to skedaddle at this point. Oh, can be a little thirsty for me. Oh, they're really chasing my rampage down hard. Let's go. I have my ultimate now, so now I can go ham. I need to see- I need to like focus... He was the one I'm worried about right now. Oh no! I thought he's gonna walk into it! Oh you got stunned. But doesn't matter, we still got the kill. Wait, what the hell was it? That's for the I just saw the house pop up behind us. Uh oh. I had to blink out. Yep, I'm very oom, so I'll take it back right here. A little short on Tainton, but that is fine. This is the back party right here in the corner. Oh, there we go. Again, we have ultimate, so we, we are looking for anyone to kill right now. Probably can't solo ult kill because she has to cleanse, but we could ult the house maybe. He has stasis, but I think it would be a bit safer ulting him versus the kill I mean, it really depends on how everything plays out. Jimby, just actually build a tank. Good to know. But yeah, we're trying to see if we can help out the right side.
Yeah, you actually get a lot of value from that Fall Helm right there. Definitely good with building Pain Scepter to count that. We could also just make a push in the inhibitor right here. I have my ultimate, so if K Royal House of Shadow comes in, we can just ult them immediately. I'm trying to see if, if there are anyone coming in. Looks like they're not. Nice. Hey, what's up, Johnny? Welcome, welcome. The matches are doing good right now. We actually have a ton of um, fun right now, actually. We have a lot of fun off meta stuff. We did House of um support we're doing a face for right now we have one fame out game where we really kind of pop off so really fun game so far today how are you doing my friend actually let's do this hmm let's go i'm trying to think what we want to build well i need a dream binder let's go dream binder actually I figure slowing down enemies will be more useful for my allies than me just getting a selfish movement speed, so that's why I'm going the dream binder right here. Oh, wow, okay, there's the FF right there. Really fun game though. Somehow went 10 and 2 on face support. This mages right now are just generally just really strong because they haven't touched the mages items when they're increasing the time to kill with the ADCs. So, this is probably the best time to do like mage supports before they get nerfed because they're gonna obviously nerf like the mages. Um, base kits and I think they're gonna nerf the items as well. So the main supports are not gonna be as deadly and main laners will be more brought in line. But 28,000 damage ladies and gents on a Fey support. So yeah, definitely for me just very strong even in the support role. Uh, are you talking about the background um, music, Amir? Just like the like the game um, music. I am playing NA East on Vision. Huh, okay. So, Samir, I don't know if you're still well, but the AB bug you're talking... Here, let me show you. Um, let me show you guys really quick. Um, yeah, I'll stop the queue. I'm, I'm trying to see if they post anything on Twitter, because I see it on Discord. I want to see if I can show it on Twitter. Okay, then I haven't posted on Twitter. But yeah, um, right now, there is a bug right now where you cannot log on to the Steam client, um, apparently. So that bug that Smear was talking about is actually affecting everyone. It's just some, something went wrong somewhere. And now people can't join in, by the looks of it. Like, I think you go to, like, Predecessor. I'm trying to find where the channel's at again. Let's see. Yeah, it's in general chat. If you go to the one that JTress said, um, we're saying that um, we trace the issue back to Steam authentication error for players that have recently updated to the newest Steam version. We don't currently have a way around the issues by working with our backend provider to identify potential issues. So I guess there was some update to Steam that made it so they can't log into Predator for some reason. So. Um, I think that's what's causing the issue, and it seems like 
um, and the people are getting the issue. I thought it was just so when so I mean, when you brought that up, I thought it was just you kind of thing. I didn't realize that there was an ongoing issue with everyone else. So I was not in the loop on that. So I apologize for that. So it kind of does make sense as to why um, the team numbers are like really low right now. So we um, take a Okay, so it's not as low, but the peak is, it's, it's not as many people. It's about 200, 300 people less people than what it could be right now, I think. But yeah, but see, this is copyright free music. This is the NCS releases playlist. It's the playlist that probably most streamers use. The most popular kind of um, um, copyright free music playlist to use for streams and whatnot. Yeah, Victor, so a good bit of Chimera, I actually just did a video on it. Well, it's not uploaded, but I have a plan for you guys sometime next week. Um, try Sky Split first item. And then do... Bone Sword second. If it's a physical heavy team, do Tainted God first. If not, do Tain Bastion. But do Sky Splitter, Bone Sword, Tainted God, Tain Bastion. And then last item, you can kind of just flex it into um, Wayman of Renewal. And you go Warriors Quest. So definitely give that a shot and tell me how you like it. Essentially, it's a hybrid Chimera build where you build a lot of core damage items early. And then you run out the build by building pure tank last three items. So you're a very good sustained fighter in the mid to late game. While still having that early game like big threats and whatnot. The Sky Splitter, if you look at what it does. It's based on basic attacks. Chimera loves the basic attack and he does it very good. So this is one of your core items. It's always going to be good throughout the game because it's based on current HP. It's on, it's based on HP on the enemy. Then you just do a bone saw next. You get um, a very good passive. You slow people and you also do bonus damage every third consecutive basic attack. And you also get increasing attack speeds. So yeah, you can do you can definitely do Brutal Lights if you want the um, double cleanse. I tend to like um, Venus Icebone Talents because they are both very great um, quest options for Chimera. So it really depends on who you're facing on the enemy team. Oh wait, I'm kind of feeling like mid um offlane right now, so I'm gonna go and do that because I am trying to get some more offlane games to get ready for the competitive nights. I marry solo. It could work, but it sounds very rough. It does sound very rough. Um, not, I ha I have tried it before. It is not easy at all. Oh no. If everyone. I'm getting pure push into Chimera offlane. Oh no. I mean, Chimera offlane can work, but it's very matchup dependent. If I'm against a, in a bad matchup, I'm just not going to have a good time at all. But we can definitely... I'll, I will try my best. That's it seems like everyone wants me to do it right now. Against a crunch? Uh, not going to be great uh, already. Okay. Well, we're definitely doing a tank Chimera. If you're doing Chimera off, then I do tank. So probably like an Overlord. I boss. I don't know what's to do him off lane. Um, yeah, it's gonna be rough, guys. It's gonna be kind of rough, but we will try our best to do what we can.
Yeah, so I'm getting peer pressured by my viewers to do um, Chimera Offlane JC, so... Against a Sevrog, okay. Okay, this... I'm, co I'm cooking, I'm cooking. I think this is actually better for us against the Sevrog. Uh, trying to think. Okay, so Sky Splitter is based on doing HP damage. So I kind of want to build Sky Splitter just to shut down the Sevrog, but it's gonna we're gonna be kind of squishy. So I we just gotta see see how this goes. Um, right here, guys. But I am co I am cooking in my head and trying to figure out what's the best way to go about it in this matchup. I'm going against he, We've been having him in a couple of games, so we are against him in the off lane. Hmm. I mean, we could just go full tank, but I just don't like Overlord. Like, it's just not gonna really damage by because it's not really gonna give us that much in the long run. I think uh, we can do Sky Splitter and just go full tank after that because I think we need this as our damage item, especially against the Sev Lock. Oh, thank you so much for the $10 donation, Austin. Thank you, thank you. Alright. So... I think we just literally have to play with our wave states. Because... We can boil the Sevwalk early. It's just, we gotta be careful of ganks. And we have to just make sure we control our wave very, very good in this matchup. I think if we do that, we can sort of just out. We can do fine, I think. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollar donation, Michael. Thank you so much. You guys are too generous. Hello, Winnie, my good sir. Okay, we'll make this a shoes. No, we can't make this shoes because if we make this a shoes, we just lose lane. So let's clear this range minion, and then we're just gonna go on. This good sir right here. Oh no, he's annoying us! Cause I'm like, maybe we can have a shoes in lane. But Camille, I gotta play aggressive. Oh my goodness. Why? Why are you doing to this, my good sir? I am a lonely Camille off lane. Why are you must bully me like this? Very unfun guy right here, guys. Unlucky. Because I was winning and now I'm not because Crunch started blue and early gank. I can mail off lane. People don't like me to have fun, I swear. Oh, that's real interaction right there. I thought I can leap and avoid his root, but I still got rid of right there. So maybe I have to hold on to my arm beam. Oh! The funny enough, I can lifesteal off the kill buff. So, I mean, I can lifesteal, get some HP back up. Because if he walks up, I think I'm just all in on him. But he is respecting my threats. And I get a tier buff, get some nice regen right here. Like, look at that. Back to f almost full HP. Let's go. Wait, he has no blink? Oh, man. Uh, do we finish him off? We do not, unfortunately. I gotta do it guys, I gotta get those early kills and got snowball. Cause your on B does more damage the lower the target is, so that's like a guaranteed kill on my on B on that low bit target. Oh no, wait, am I actually getting gank? Oh. 
They even call it. I just was busy commentating, so I just probably missed that. People don't want me to have fun. King games, man. Unlucky. Oh wait. So still going for the sky split first item. Gonna go tame bash in second. Good against the sidewalk. And I think I can combine tame bash with tame the gods. And so and kinda go the tank route by going that way. So we definitely um, got a decent trade on him right there. So now, let's see if we can hold this wave at all. Cause I'm trying not to um, be back right there. My wave is going to keep shoving um, right now, but I want to see if I can just try to build this wave up and try to farm it as much as I can. I will unbugger on you. Oh. Uh, Crunch, why you gotta be really unfun? Cause I just, once I have no blink, I just can't get out. Cause you, for, like time mill, you have to like take long trades or else you really can't do much. I mean, maybe I took too long a trade, I could back up early, but like, if Crunch was hovering, he's gonna force to go on top of me anyway, so it's just really hard to do much on once my blink is down. Yeah, I probably have to farm my own side too, so kind of jumping between farming my wave. Once it's shoved out, then I just kind of farm my camps. Because it's once I push out at a certain point, it's just risky for me to keep um, pushing. It's a big issue. Grab the timer on this really quick. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where I need guys further, or else I can't do much damage against him because he's putting full tank on me. Okay, he just used ultimate right there. Hmm. Maybe we can make something happen mid. Uh, looks like they're backing off. Yeah, there's a big fight happen. Okay, I... Now he used E right there. Always, I do apologize if the audio is acting up. I thought I kind of fixed the issue, but it's still a little bit ongoing by the sound of it. Nice, nice. I got the kill on the jungler. I think what I might do is I shove this lane out and then look to see if there's any camps I can take. At this point, I can't kill the um, Sevark, so I'm gonna just off to chub lanes and just roam. So let's see if there's any camps. Not quite. There's a ship of right there. Let's get the blue one. Oh, it's up. 
question is, is this crunch going to run blue side when this when his red side is up? Probably not. Let's see if we can get away with stealing camps like this. Leave that. See if we can try to catch our way because I didn't say we was going to back off soon anyways. So let's kind of catch this way, shove it out and go for two buff here in a sec. I'm going to miss it so might as well go to this um, way right here and just start DPSing it. Yeah, I'm not the sky spell, so that's great. Oh wait. So it's back and probably yeah I go tame bashing just to kinda count the set walk a little bit better. Go so get this. Then let's go tame bashing. I mean, over like I said, I it should, overload helps me clear stuff faster, but not necessarily a great damage item. Like Sky Blue is gonna be really probably the best item against the set for because it's HP percent. So I kind of want this item to do damage, try to have bigger bigger threat to the set for potentially. Just kind of, I think we're gonna get some good fire out of it potentially. Gotta just wait and see. Set is rotating. Hmm. I think the fight is going to be over by the time I go with there. So I'm going to opt to just keep shopping out. I can kind of get some free farm without any pressure by doing this way too. Oh, okay. They're all kind of mid. I'm backing them. So then maybe just jump, go straight to mid and help out. Okay. Yeah, it looks like. I wasn't sure if, if it was just a Sevoir or other people may also come over. So I'll take it back, reset. Then I can just go to my um, Kalai jungle, maybe take some camps for myself, like the 5 stack. But that's a decent camp to kind of let the offline have. Because yeah, it's going to be so hard to kill him because he has tamed and guard, but I have sky splitter and return. So let's just clear this um, camp out. Oh. Yeah, we're trying to do him because we have the sky splitter, so it's a good call. Let's not overshade that because we can get a freeze to kind of happen right here. Like that. Hmm. They actually back off of it, I can't tell. Uh, either way, I guess we shove this out then. Maybe look to invade, steal some camps. See if we can. There's a white river buff up, so take that. And then maybe we can go back to take the teal buff. There's a pink buff, nice, nice. Yeah, said what early back because he took a bad trade and he's like, nope, I'm out of here. So let's actually... Mm. I actually really want to go for the tier buff, but I can't do that without lame file. It's a big thing. Mm. Take a quick trade right there. I'm gonna start ulting my heal, get my stacks. Oh, come on. 
Wait, I'll do the same thing. Oh, he's actually he learned he learned the errors of ways, so he's actually gonna back off all the way right there. We know Crunch is on the left side, so we can push this really quick. Get a T1. Oh, this game will change me again. I don't know where he went. I think he was pushing mid. I think that should get the tower without me pushing, so I'll let the mains do the work and I'll go for the two buff really quick. Nice. Alright, so we get quests, we get more magical defense items against the Sevwa, so we'll be kind of chilling. 75 mantle is actually really good, they kind of locking down people a bit better, so let's go with that. So we can go Tain Bastion, Tain of Guards, maybe we do a Bone Slot Forest. And we just have to wait and see um, how the game progress and what items we need to counter. Oh, come on. I'm gonna blink out. They're doing the mini prime, actually. But we don't have anyone to help, like, contest this with us. Yes, you can see our claw is on the right side. So, I'll just have to let them have it, and then I'm gonna have to retreat and just kind of find my right side out. Yeah. So I we. I merely just get out of here because they're gonna be looking at me. So I'm gonna try to just take some camps since I can't really invade at this moment. Alright, so Sevar doesn't have the pink buff. This Quench does. So they might be trying to push to go for the tower. I think I do a good job though at um clearing this out though. That's no Sevar goal by the way. Uh Oh, these minions are actually really tanky with the mini prime. That's just the kind of power of the mini prime in general. So I try my best to see if it can maybe clear out, but I actually can't right there. Hmm. I'm gonna see. Uh, Chloe is probably gonna just give up the web buff right here. He's gonna get out. Yep. He's playing too safe. I don't. We can't catch him actually. Oh, that RMB was really real right there. Oh, wait. See anything we can do in the mid lane. Our house is gonna get blown up right there. It's the Gideon and the Crunch that the most strongest on the team. So... Oh, the deck is done from downtown? I have no mana. I actually can't fight this anymore. I'm gonna have to have to back up, unfortunately. So, get Tain Passion. Tain and Guard against the Crunch at this point. So, grab this. Grab these two items.
Because right now they're definitely gonna be looking at um time. I just want to pressure this game a little bit. Back out. And Seva is going to just keep pushing the entire time. So if someone has to answer him, that it, someone's going to have to be me, unfortunately. Um, I guess the crunch. He's going to have a huge advance against me early game. But I think with the white items, I could technically outscale him and take him on past six. So set of matchup, it's easier for me early game, harder late game. Crunch hard early, but easier as the game goes on. So I can't push because I don't see have vision on what's going on the map. Okay. So I'm gonna look to kind of maybe help Fainters. It depends on if my team's gonna collapse on that or not. Because I can always shove mid out. It looks like they're fighting, so let me try to take and catch up. Oh, I think I'm too late though. Yeah, that's just why we just instantly lose right there. Hmm. I'm trying to walk away because the enemy team is probably going to try to um, follow up with the Zev walk, so I just can't take a fight with them. Oh, my team is going to say yes already. Oh. Oh. That's unfortunate. I was going to say no to see if I can drag this out longer, but fortunately, um, it is going to be GG right there. I was farming pretty well, all things considered. So if the game went on longer, um, then like, so like at this point, like, um, we can take a look at the stats real quick. Because I'm bombing like so well, like on my um, creep score, um, if the crunch, their crunch, and getting then got super fed, I'm actually would be on par or even ahead of them because I've just been farming really well. But because an AO getting a 10 to 1 crunch, there's just no coming back from there because the rest of my team was just struggling super hard. So I, that was just like, no matter what offlane I was, it was just gonna be a really hard game to kind of win. So it wasn't a kind of middle offlane dip, it was just my team just didn't have the, the greatest time right there. Let's see. But it was still a decent game, all things considered. It was just the. Uh, um, it just. It's not even the matchup that's hard, it's just. It's so easy to gank a Chimera offlane kind of thing. It's the super big thing. Oh wait, so I think I have one more game in me, so I think I'm just gonna drive one back one more time, and then we can call it for the rest of the night. So I'll be um, right back while I wait for the queue to pop.
Okay. So I mean, I took I took Sky Split to specifically kind of off lane first, just to counter. That's a kind of best I am to counter Sith Rock. Because if I did something like Overlord or Bone Saw, I just won't have the DPS really kill the Sith Rock. But I think Sky Split was my best option to finish off the Sith Rock in the one v one. So. It was just after that I just go pure tank because I think kind of off lane you build tank just so you can survive the lane more than anything. But also I think a tank Camille can be extremely hard to kill and team fights and all that good stuff. So I'm kind of curious what the pred numbers are at because of the issue that was happening where people just could not log in at all. Oh yeah, it's definitely noticeable. Um, like for example, the peak the last two games, um, two days was fourteen hundred, and right now the highest where we at is eleven hundred. So that's three hundred less players that probably just can't log in at all because of the Steam updates. Um, so so this is the NCS releases um playlist. So you always have it in. Just go on Spotify, look that up, and that's the playlist that I'm using. It's totally copyright free. It's the kind of playlist that all the um, streamers use for the most part, like even Tyler One from League of Legends uses for the most part. So um, this is why I use um, kind of for my live streams. There's another one I use that's not as known, but has some good music in it. But lately, the last few times I played it, it was sort of. It, I think it's really outdated that playlist. That still has some Christmas songs in it for some reason. This one's a more better up-to-date playlists that I've been using and really enjoying. So, trying to think how are we going to finish off. I think I'm just going to play Phil. I kind of want to do support. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I've been having a lot of fun with support lately. Because I feel like when I have play support, I'm not too worried about... How do I say it? If I play off lane, I have to play seriously to the point where I have to like win my lane hard and carry through there. Whereas like support, I feel like I can chill a little bit, play more reactionary based on how the lane's playing, and just kind of be just a really annoying kind of like support kind of player. Because the thing with supports is, um, I don't think people realize, but you have so much free agency on support. You're not obligated to stay in lane farm, push out waves, all that stuff. You can roam, you can go for deep wards, you can go hunt the enemy jungler down and steal camps right in front of the face. You can do stuff like that that no other world can do because other worlds you have to farm and stay in lane where support is like, okay, um, I'm gonna leave you alone, I'm gonna do something else on the map and see what I can do. So I kinda want I really like support because it's a very chill role, exactly right, Samir. I mean, I was to support main back in League of Legends. It's just Paragon. I was offline main. Paragon shut down. Then I played League of Legends. I support main. I main support there. Came back full circle. Still mains offline, but I still have a lot of support um, in me to and play this. So just coming from League of Legends. Yeah, I can totally get that, Michael. I think it's just an outlook kind of thing. Because, um, maybe... I'm trying to think, because support is kind of like the one role that decides the lane more than ADC. Because you're kind of like setting up the kills, you're just keeping your ADC safe, you're peeling them for them, right? But sometimes, um, you gotta accept that no matter how good you play support, that you can't save a bad ADC. If that makes sense, so um, I think it's just more like you gotta realize what kind of people you're playing with, because you don't have to just um, play support and think the only person you protect is ADC. No, you're. It can be. It's just anyone on your team that's gonna carry the game. If you ADC is zero and eight, you're not gonna stay in lane with him. You're just gonna go and help your mid laner who's ten and zero, right? That's what you do as support. You just adapt and figure out who's it's gonna carry your game, and you play for that person. A lot of times it may be the ADC, but sometimes it may not be the AC, and you have to realize when you have to like change priorities in the game. I hope your brother gets, does get better, Austin. Much love to him. He posts not bash. We can definitely do a not bash support. 
100%. I definitely love the drummer boy himself, so... I I did say I like support because the fairy shield wall, so not bad. It's the fairy embodiment of a shield support. Just kind of play some beats and kind of hanging back and all that good stuff. Yep, I, yeah, Mirkit, he's been moving this last month or two, so he's been kind of out of the YouTube and um, out of a friend group because he's been busy with the move, so... I think he's starting to get settled in now, but definitely it takes a long time to move because he's moved for a new job. So it's a lot of stuff being changed, a lot of things you have to like kind of learn, you gotta learn, talk to people, you gotta build new relationships, find new areas where you, that like, game, you have to change almost everything about your life when you, whenever you move. A game support is a little tempting, but um, I do want to do not bad support, so I'm gonna just play him because I think I got some plenty of good May support. I can always save um a Gideon in the future um live stream doing him supports. I want to do some good old fa old fashioned um supports because we actually have a really good team. This is a really good not bad pick with the Rampage and Gideon Drongo. So that is. Kira Witcher offlane. Okay. So Michael, here's the thing about playing support. Is much like the offlane or any worlds in general, you need to realize what kind of matchup you're in. Um a Narbash Drongo is a very good kind of combination duo. Um there's a lot of good we're very kind of safe and we have good um burst damage capabilities. Me stunning, he using E and all that kind of stuff. But we're against a Kira Witcher. So the thing about not bash support, gosh, give me one sec, I'm gonna start something. So the thing about not bash support, it is that you're kind of like one of the weakest support actually starting off, funny enough. Not bash is a support that needs time to scale, is the big thing. Because think about it, like you, the best part of not bash's kit is just kind of like um, his E, like it being a very good healing tool, but you heal early on is kind of weak, right? So, you, your heals are not the greatest early on, it only gets better as the game goes on, but you are at your weakest early on because you need your put levels in E to scale, you need to get items to kind of enable your healing and be able to tank. And the fact is, a lot of other supports have a lot more kill threat early on compared to Nobash, like a Decker, a Witcher, a Steel, they have more kill threat than a Nobash early on. So this is going to be one of those lanes that we'll try to go for picks or good trades whenever we can. But against this Kira Witcher, they're going to have a lot more early DPS than us. So that's what I mean by Michael, that you got to realize what the matchup is. Because if you realize what kind of matchup you're in, you can better adapt to how you play the matchup. Because if, if there's a very like kind of, if they're playing a heavy kill early game, you got to respect that and adjust your game plan. If you have a very good early game threat, you want to abuse that as much as you can before you fall off, right? Actually, it's a Belka support, okay. They still have a very early game kill threat, because much like Victor Belka has a lot of early game kill threat, it's a big thing. So it's as to Victor jungle shouldn't be off a mid lane. Okay, that makes sense. So they're going to have the rage advantage with the Belka. Not gonna be as deadly because we don't have to worry about the Victor hook, but um, we still have to be a little careful of the Belkum knocked up more than anything. Hmm, he uses E. Ideally for Drama, he wants to use E to fall on my dunk because the ADC can always just walk away um, as soon as you, he uses E. They don't... I don't think they see him. Oh, they'd see him then. Dang. A little unlucky.
So that's what I mean. They have a lot of early damage for it, as you guys saw. I just saw a good opportunity to chunk the cure and I took it. So um, I think it's sort of worse because my AC is going to be a lot better spot healthy wise against their ADC. And I can always sort of just kind of heal back up with my EM one not. Uh, maybe I should have dunked the Bellica right there because she was walking into our wave like that. So I'm, Witcher is on his blue side by the looks of it. I'm trying not to fight just because I know Witcher is around this area somewhere. So that's why I'm kind of saving my dunk for when he comes in. Oh. I was able to save the um, gong right there, but that's the one thing you have to be careful of. If you get queued up like that and you're inside an enemy menu wave, that is, you're going to take so much damage right there. Um, it could be better to go man and reach him, but I like the little bit more healthy um, stab right here to gain a little bit more HP early on so I can tank a little bit better and not get bullied out as easily. Oh no. That's a Witcher gank right there, unfortunately. Is he able to get the kill? Uh, uh, one more auto? Okay, he got it. That's actually good for us. So it goes one for one with the kill. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Oh, thank you, Bosi, for that. I'll definitely take a look at that. Yeah, earlier in the stream, guys, I did the Soul Reaper tech where I was ulting in the air 360 kill people with Fame Mal Execution Ultimate. So that's definitely a YouTube video, I think. And I might put that on like some clips and whatnot. That was a really fun game I had with the Fame Mal Jungle. I'm not sure if this river buff is taken though. I just want to take a quick peek. Okay, it was taken. Um, let's get a ward right here. Why not? A little tricky spot we're in. I don't exactly want to engage, even though we have a mini wave advantage. Maybe I have to clear this one out. Oh, she didn't walk back at all, so I missed that. So I'm using the E right here. If you want Bugsy, I could send you um, the wall clip that's better quality. I really appreciate you helping out making clips for me, thank you, my good sir. Oh, not gonna get out that already. I wanna use my E when I don't need to heal myself. I wanna try to be efficient with my E as much as possible. I don't know where the Shinbi's at. Wait till maybe on the sideway. That's okay, wait till it's there. Yeah, this is what I mean. Not sure where the Shinbi is at. So I'm gonna have to actually take it back right here. Oh, is he able to get the kill on the. Oh no! He, he, he ulted! Wow. A little unlucky for my teammate right there. So. I'm so this. Th I've been doing a different kind of tech on Narbash, and that is going for like Stonewall first. The Stonewall is actually a um, 
one of the best physical tank items. Like, take a look at here. We get a ton of physical armor, but also decrease, take decreased damage from physical abilities. So, I mean, Shoe Silver Bracelet is always a great item on not bad support. But the thing is, you only get fire outfits when you're like, when you're ulting people, right? And so, in this matchup, I'm only gonna get fire out from it just to not get stunned by the Belka stun. Because it's the only CC I have to worry about, right? Whereas, I can go Stormwall and I can sit and kill his ultimate and take way less damage. So, I'll be able to really take a lot better from my um, Drawn Girl, if that makes sense. It makes me a lot, a way harder to kill in lane too. Oh my! I think yeah, we're dead right here. Cause the Witcher was actually hovering right there. A little unfortunate. Stonewall from Muriel. I think it's maybe not for first iron, but laying the build could be good. Cause I think Muriel you want to do Marshall first, right? Marshall is just one of those really good items in Mario. So it just depends on who you're playing. Because my job as Norbat is sort of be kind of that tank, pseudo kind of tank for my team. So if I can build like Soul Wall super early, it can be really good for us, right? And they are hovering outside a lot, right, Mr. Oh. Yeah, this is a little weird game. They're just kind of seeing that jungle a lot right there. And just, they're making a lot of like, good plays across the map. I mean, most supports, I would think you build tanky. Because a lot of the good support items are kind of tank items, like Galaxy Grease, Tank Totem, I'm sure. So they all have some of them one way or another. So I think supports are just inherently tanky just because all the support items are tanky items, if that makes sense. Oh, this is doing a lot of damage to the tower. Oh, I should have hauled this way from AC. I totally messed up right here. Oh, I missed my arm beam when I shouldn't. I just was not expecting the kill to just walk right there and kind of dis disrespect us right there. That's a little weird. Hmm. I mean, kill is low. So, I'll start ulting. I just want to totally stay out of the fight. And kind of zone them off a little bit. Maybe I should have dunked earlier so it makes it I, because Rampage Walk is actually way easier to hit than my dunk. So I was waiting for him to hit it, then I just stun like whoever he's done, but he still missed that unfortunately. I mean Stonewall is I mean it's just um you're always gonna be getting a lot of damage from physical damage in general. Like, I mean most jungler Pretty much almost, almost every jungler are physical based heroes and all ADCs are physical based. So Soul Wall is kind of like the best item to counter both of those damage sources you're going to get a lot early on. You want to do something like Rayman. Because Rayman is not actually going to be as good of a value of a tank item. It's a good sustained option, but um, it's not the best solo tank item if that makes sense. Like Soul Wall is a lot better solo tank item. And it's the best physical defense item um, against all these people, just in general. It looks like he wants to try to go for the steal, but I think he just get blown up. I mean, just uh. Right, let's say we are out of here. Enemy 
Uh oh. My AC had cut out. I'm sorry, I can't follow you. I think I'm still fine. Yeah. Wow, my whole team was an FF already. It's only 13 minutes, my good friends. Hmm. I mean, Kira has no mana, so we. C it's just we have to worry about the ganks, right? But I think. I think me and John could win this. I saw ulting right here. Looks like we're gonna focus the um Pelica right there. Oh wow, he just actually um lose against that. And I'm gonna lose wow. Huh. So one of he has lightning hawk, so he actually does a lot of damage, um funny enough. Like He's pretty much even with the Kira, but he still lost that. I think he just missed some autos, so we're not able to finish anyone off right there, unfortunately. Hey, Shia Samir, I'll put you a good rest of your night, my friend. Because Belka only had steel mo um, mail, so... I think either way, Jongo and E should be able to actually finish off any of those um, Kira or Bellica just because of how low they're getting but something did not connect right there and probably he was missing the autos unfortunately so this guy is kind of just typing essays right now instead of just kind of playing the game out because that because if you want to make the game more in, even more unwinnable, um, you you do that. Because the game can be unwinnable, like you're behind, you can make good plays and come back, right? But as soon as you start typing, you're wasting time, you're not farming, you're not making plays, then you then you indirectly just make yourself get behind even more so, right? So that's kind of like the big thing about how toxicity not only just not good for the move, but also toxicity just makes you perform even worse, right? Um, one's face, you want to build that later because you only get value out of it when you're taking critical um, strike chance hits and you're not really doing so in the early game. It's not until like late game is that you start to encounter critical hits from ADCs and you only get value out of them if the ADC is fed. If the aiming ADC is behind, and there's no reason to build storm mail for that one character that's, that's behind, right? So Star Wars all, all around just a better uh, physical armor because it affects every physical hero, not just AC. It can affect assassins and boosters and all that good stuff as well. Oh, what the? Cause I thought we were pushing the wave together. But it looks like he took a skirmish right there. Mm. Oh well, if, if the jungle actually rotated to us, we would have been able to um, kill the Shenbi. We actually did not rotate with us, even though Shenbi was obviously going hard on our Gideon right there. I'm actually gonna throw a report at this guy. So I'll just make the attitude. Who is folding with? That's actually not me this time around. So someone that said yes is now saying no. Alright, so Mr. Gamer Wiz, so just kind of keep that name in mind. Because he's obviously being really toxic actually right now. So not quite the end that I was looking for, unfortunately. 
Um, it is a weekday night, so I cannot be streaming too late, unfortunately. I need to uh, make sure I get plenty of sleep for the uh, morning after. So apologies, this is kind of like how the, it ends off, but um, I guess it got to be balanced somehow because we actually had some really good games earlier on in the stream. And the thing so overall very fun stream just one last kind of unfortunate game towards the end right there but sometimes that does happen but i'm not gonna let it get down on me because as um you guys were saying earlier it's all about kind of having a good outlook don't let the negatives get to you too hard just kind of um just kind of move on don't let it kind of bark you down too much right there but yeah anyways thank you guys as always for streaming i think i'm gonna be trying to stream more in the evenings because with the competitive nights happening Thursday night and me, me Friday always kind of leaving it open, I'm either going to be trying to um, I either stream on the Friday afternoon or I want to try to be streaming on the evening because I think I can see a lot you guys a lot more and I get the queue times a lot faster. So I think it's going to be Wednesday evenings on my stream. That's what I'm going to be hoping for because Tuesday nights I am on the podcast. I'm on there actually permanently now for those who do not know. So I'll be there. Tuesday evening on podcast every week. Thursday evenings compared to nights. So I kind of don't want to be streaming around that time. I'll probably play with my friends and whatnot. Friday evenings is a no-go. So it's either Monday evenings or Wednesday evenings. And I think Wednesday evenings is going to be better because it's going to be after the Tuesday update. But anyways, thank you guys again for stopping by. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your week.